Welcome to my channel, Dougie Shaven. The sun is coming up here in Austin, Texas, and it's time for my morning shave. In my shave line NBD mug this morning, I have ground up some fresh from Hulalai Estate on the lovely island of Kona. I've got some fresh Kona blend. Uh, I brought this back from Kona myself. Ah, oh, such a good, good coffee. And I'm, I'm, I'm uh, rocking some half and half today, so getting my morning started. In my Hendrix Classics and Company stainless steel shaving bowl with my Turnings by Tans, awesome, awesome brush. I have whipped up for you guys this morning. Hendrix Classics and Company Bay Rum. Another banger scent from Hendrix Classics. I got to tell you, really great scent on this. It's just a wonderful, wonderful Bay Rum. Filling up my whole bathroom. I'm going to be starting off with some Gentleman's Nod Fred pre-shave. And then we're going with the matching Bay Rum Balm. It's cold here in Austin, Texas, folks. Cold front came through. Today I'm going to be featuring, I just finished restoring this bad boy. This is a vintage Keystone, turn of the century, 1900s uh, Keystone straight razor. This is a 5 8 square point, full hollow, absolutely gorgeous. Just just took it off the stones last night. Let's get rocking and rolling. Got out of a hot shower. Beard is softened. But you know me, I like to use my products. That's just the way I rock and roll. About six squirts of, of the gentleman's nod is all you need. Great pre-shave, unscented. So I can let this wonderful fall bay rum just come through and it is a absolute wonderful scent. Check out HendrixClassics.com. Hendrix is based out of Nashville, Tennessee. The proprietor Pete Hendrix uh, creates all these wonderful, wonderful uh, products for you. He just came out with a uh, a nice polishing unit. Uh, you guys follow my social media at all. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You know I like my stuff polished and shiny because that's how I roll. I even polish my brass. I don't let it patina. Wonderful scent. And this, this Turnings by Tans brush just really whipped up a wonderful, wonderful lather this morning. It's game day! University of Texas, we are hosting TCU Horn Frogs. And it's going to be a cold day out there for a football game. Game time 6.30 tonight. I'm going out playing golf with the fellas. And, uh, I'm going to be rocking some long pants for <laughs> the first time. Cold front came through yesterday. Yesterday morning, it was like uh, 80 degrees. And then afternoon, it got down to like the 40s. So I prepared. I watched the, I watched the news. So I, I know what's up. And uh, I brought my coat and everything and long pants, and I was ready to go. We're going to do three passes, folks. First pass is with the grain. So just uh, just finished this bad boy, this this beautiful Keystone here. Oh, and it feels good. Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely. This thing was so rusty. I did twelve different grits of uh, of wet sanding on it to get it back. I soaked it in the. Uh, the rust remover. Oh, hear it removing that beard. 
I love the feedback that you get on a full hollow. And you got to be careful. I wouldn't recommend a square tip for a beginner. Um, this is this is definitely not a beginner's blade in any way, shape, or form because that sucker will bite you hard. Scooping out under the nose. And man, great, great shade with this guy. Really, really, really sharp blade. And this is probably one of the best uh, uh, edges I put on in a while. I've gone completely synthetic. I got rid of my cortical. I got rid of my uh, J. Well, I didn't get rid of them. They're just sitting in the corner collecting dust, but I'm going total synthetic now. And man, what a great edge. You got to be careful with the, uh, with that square tip. Because uh, while it's great for getting under the nose and stuff like that, if you don't know what you're doing, you can hurt yourself. Uh, yeah. Super, super efficient shaver. Started out... Uh, on my uh, Nani Watch Acera 1000 stone, professional stone. Then I went to my 4000 and my 8000 Shapton HRs. Then I put it on my 12000. Uh, a Naniwa Superstone. Uh, then I go back to the Shapton 16K HR. Switching hands here. Uh, and then I go back to my 12K for just a few cleanup strokes and then I finish on my 30,000. Shapton HR. Now I use one layer of, of tape on my uh, blades themselves to protect the spine. And I use Scotch 22, which is a little thicker than the standard Scotch 88, which most people use. And, and they generally will double up on that 88. I just use the 22. It's just a better, superior uh, a, a polymer that really holds on good. Wow. Nice. It's thicker. Uh, especially on some of these new ones, uh, um, resetting the bevel arm, and I do. Uh, I, I take it over the stones uh, quite a few passes, especially when I'm doing my small circles and all. And uh, and that, that 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 22 is just far superior than the 88. I mean, it's just a way better product. So University of Texas against TCU today, this is going to be a tough game. I mean, this is going to be a real tough game. And if we win, I'm going to I'm going to say if we win today, we're taking Big 12. If we win today, we are taking Big 12. So we've got we got our stuff cut out against us today. Looking forward to it. It's going to feel like fall tonight too at the game, man, which I'm really digging. You know, Got to wear a coat. It's going to be cold, blustery, windy, real football, man. It's just been like spring-like here in, in, in Austin, Texas.
going across the grain now. And so I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this weather. I love fall. Now this is where the square tip comes into play. Because you can use it to get up into these hard places that you can't get into. Is that fulcrum there? Great shaver. I mean, I wonder... what they were doing back in 1900 when they were shaving with this thing. I got it off this nice lady off of eBay. And she was telling me, well, I don't know, you know, I don't know, it's just been sitting in a drawer and whatever. And I'm like, you know, I'll buy it from you. Get all up under that nose there. Took a while. This was a long restore, man. Took me a while to get it. Where I wanted it. I didn't want to mess up these ivory scales. So taking it apart, uh, you know, you really have to you really have to just take your time. Got that little section right there and that square point really helps it out, man. You can get right up into stuff like that. But if you're just starting out with a straight razor, I'd really recommend using a rounded point. That'll help you not cut yourself as bad. <laughs> um, but you're going to cut yourself when you start. You're, you're learning a new process, and that's just the way it is. Um, before you put your razor down, always close it all the way. Wow, I could just stop right there. I gotta get my fool's pass in. Yeah, you shut, you shut your razor all the way, folks, because you, know, you can be reaching for it and accidentally, it's, it's razor sharp. Um, a lot of people don't really realize that this is, you know, surgical steel, razor sharp stuff. So, I mean, I've cut my fingers, I've cut my thumb, I've cut my face, you know, it's, 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 it's really, really, really sharp. That's how you get such a great cliche with the straight. And, and I find that when I get a good quality shave with a good straight razor, it lasts longer. You know, that five o'clock shadow, I'm not feeling any stubble at five o'clock because I just got such a great close shave. And some guys go a couple of days after a straight razor shave. They don't, they don't mess around with it again. I shave every day because of my alopecia. It's something that I have to do. But uh, I know guys that will shave with a straight razor and they won't straight shave for a couple of days after that. All right, we're going against the grain now. Really, really great shave with this. Uh, this restore came out so nice. Pulling my skin tight. Using that, that square point to get up into those little curvatures of my, my chin. Yep, 
Yeah, finally feeling like fall. It hasn't been feeling like this at all. It's been all, <laughs> you know, summery still. And, and that's the way Central Texas is. You never know what you're going to get. And like we skip, we skip kind of fall because now it's like 40 degrees outside. So, you know, you don't have this nice cool weather. It's just cold. And just like for the football game, out on the golf course, it's going to be a tough one, man. The wind is blowing. Uh, <laughs> it's cold outside. Ball's not going to fly as far. Now watch that square point, especially near your ear. I've, uh, I've taken a few chunks out of my ear in my day. Using the heel up in here. Yeah, I've cut my ear a couple of times because it's so sharp, you don't even feel it. And it just slices through your earlobe, you know, and then all of a sudden you're bleeding. Nice. Well, this is a great shaver, I gotta tell you. This one came out good. This, this took about uh, a little over a month, I guess, to, to get this one completely finished. Got my pins from uh, England. And, uh, Uh, got my spacers from over there in England too. I can't find anybody in the United States to get good stuff to repin my, my, my scales. And I got all my stones from Paul's Finest out of Canada. I saved almost half on my new stone rig. Uh, getting it from paulsfinest.com. Check them out. Really, really great guy. Super communication. Wow. Oh, baby. That's what I call a BBS right there. Always make sure uh, when you're done, you wipe down your razor. I strop mine also uh, after I'm done, but you just don't want to leave anything on it because it will leave marks. And I just put all that work into getting that nice polish out of my, my razor. And I leave it open like that. And I put it on a towel away from everything. Make sure it's not around kids where children can't get up and reach it. And uh, just let it dry out for a little bit. Um, but I'm going to be stropping it here, uh, just momentarily. Really super great shave. Hmm. So close. Get on my Walmart towel. Now we're going to do a cold water rinse. We're going to close those pores up. Oh man, that's cold. <laughs> it's cold outside. Got my burnt orange Lancaster towel here. Hook them horns. Oh, so soft. Ah, oh, great, great towel. Then of course, we've got some Unscented Thayer's here. I got me a nice new bottle. Gonna put some witch hazel on. It's a great facial toner. No nicks or cuts, just a great super sharp shave. Neck is just blinging. Cheeks are blinging. I'm ready to go hit some golf balls. 
we're gonna finish up with this Hendrix Classics and Company Bay Rum Balm. I'm gonna need it today. It's cold outside on the golf course. Gotta protect that face. Now I find that the Hendrix Classics and Company Balm goes a long way. So you really don't need a whole bunch. And it just does a great job protecting your face, making it feel smooth. And all oh, that Bay Rum scent. Wonderful, wonderful shave. Oh, it feels so good. Folks, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I will see you again real soon on Dougie Shaven and Shave Tech.